I am going to talk about atheists, theists, and agnostics. I'm not going to go into very much detail about the definitions and nuances, but I'm just going to paint with broad strokes because I'm going to try and keep this under four minutes. So in popular understanding, an atheist is someone who does not believe in God. Put another way, an atheist is someone who believes that there is no God, although they would probably dispute that. But like I said, broad strokes. A theist is someone who believes in God. So while an atheist, again with broad strokes, will declare to you that God does not exist and would find it hard to understand why anyone would believe in God, a theist is someone who would tell you without doubt that God exists and he has breakfast with him every morning. A theist would tell you God exists and you just look outside your window and it's obvious and he would find it hard to believe why anyone would not believe in God. And broadly speaking, an agnostic is someone who says, I don't know, I don't think you can know one way or the other for sure whether God exists or not. So again, broadly speaking, that's an agnostic. An atheist says there is no God. A theist says there is a God. And an agnostic says, I don't know whether there is a God or not. Let's look at the number zero. Zero is the absence of anything. In the atheist worldview, God is a great big zero. He does not exist. And it is very difficult for us who exist to conceive of non-existence. Even to think about non-existence requires and proves the fact that you exist. You are thinking about non-existence. Let's look at the number of infinity, which is, well, as it says here, a number greater than any assignable quantity or countable number. It's beyond counting. You can count forever and you'll never reach infinity. Is it even a real number? It's hard to wrap our minds around infinity. How can a number that cannot be counted be counted as a number? So on one hand you have infinity and on the other hand you have zero. Both share the characteristics of being uncountable. You cannot count zero. You can't count it. You can't count infinity. These are two strange numbers. Now you could have one million and multiply it by zero and you'd have zero. You could have one million and multiply it by infinity and you'd have infinity. You could have one millionth a fraction and multiply it by zero and you'd still get zero. You could have one millionth and multiply it by infinity and you'd still get infinity. What am I going on about here? Theists claim that God is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, all the omnis, it means God is great, 
God is greater than great. God is infinite. God is infinity. Theists say there is no God. God is zero. This might be approaching the Hindu concept of God where God is essentially non-existence total unconsciousness total bliss but what does, what does the agnostic say? the agnostic says I don't know one way or the other it is not because the agnostic is unthinking it's not because the agnostic is unintelligent it is because the agnostic well in broad strokes is thoughtful and thinks about these things and realizes that it is impossible to grasp the concept of zero and it is impossible to grasp the concept of infinity and so it is likewise impossible to fully grasp the concept of God and the concept of no God. It is, in all honesty, outside of the ability of the human mind to understand fully. Supposing God did exist, the knowledge of God would be infinite if God is as we think he is omniscient omnipotent omnipresent if God is as we think he is then the knowledge of God would be infinite which means to the simple mind that maybe knows one iota of God his knowledge is practically zero in comparison to infinity whereas to the very learned person who perhaps has a million measures of the knowledge of God whatever that would be to the infinite knowledge of God it is practically zero In light of that, how could anyone declare with 100% certainty that he is a theist? I bring this up because when I was thinking about atheists and theists and agnostics, at least in my broad caricatures of these three persons, I realize that the one that is closest to the truth is the agnostic. The atheist says there is no God, basically arguing for zero, when we have no idea what zero is. The theist argues for God, basically infinity, when we have no ability to understand what infinity means the agnostic says there's something about God there's something about no God I understand some things but I can't possibly understand everything to come to a conclusion and that to me at least from a philosophical point of view is the most honest position if God exists he is infinite if God does not exist it is zero we exist somewhere in between zero and infinity as a child we learn to count up to a hundred as an adult maybe you learn to memorize pi to a certain number of decimal places whatever we exist between zero and infinity that's really all we can say 
we can say I kind of understand what zero is and I kind of understand what infinity is but even the most wise among us is zero compared to the infinite knowledge of God if he exists hence my respect for the agnostic point of view I do not claim to be an agnostic I am definitely not an atheist I guess there would be some kind of a theist but I do not claim to understand infinity and I do not claim to have God wrapped up in a box what I seek is the truth because Christ said you will know the truth and the truth will set you free we whether we identify as atheist theist agnostic or we just reject all these labels completely we should be on the search for truth on the search for truth because it is the truth that sets you free when you know the truth you're free when you understand how the financial system works you you can be free from it when you understand how nutrition works you can be free from well obesity you can be free from diabetes you can be free when you understand how politics works you can be free of the influence of it when you understand how the media and propaganda works you can be free of it there's no guarantee that you are free of it but when you understand how it works you have a chance of being free of it so when we seek the truth there is no guarantee that we therefore have found it or we know it or have a patent on it it just means that we have the chance of finding it and I found that the caricature atheist is just too set too certain certain beyond possibility of the non-existence of God and likewise his counterpart the caricature theist is just too certain about the existence and nature of God more certain than he can be but my favorite the caricature agnostic doesn't claim to know this or that but claims to be able to understand some things but not able to encompass the full knowledge whether of infinity or of zero of God or of no God so here's a shout out to every truth seeker Seek the truth and you will find it. Jesus said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. C.S. Lewis said, All men find what they truly seek. So I know I just quoted Christ and I just quoted a famous Christian, but this is not a Christian principle that means you don't have to be a Christian to seek the truth the truth belongs to every person and every person is free to seek the truth every person should seek the truth when you seek the truth whatever it may be then you have the chance of finding it and if you find it and it finds you 
Then you find freedom. And freedom finds you. So, keep on seeking. And do not, do not ever stop. Get lazy and you fall to one side or the other. Like a bowling lane. Life is like that. Atheism on one side, theism on the other. Left wing on one side, right wing on the other. Conservative on one side, liberal on the other. Good and bad, lucky and unlucky, rich and poor. It's, it's like a mental illness that all human beings seem to have. We tend to dichotomize everything. But life is not like that. If I were to ask you, do you want to give up your left hand or your right hand? What would you say? Well, you should say, neither. I like them both. And that's how life is. Life is paradox. Truth is paradox. We try to make it about one or the other, but it's not. You want to know the truth about God? It's not some compromise, but it is the perpetual tension between God and no God, existence and non-existence, infinity and zero. So there I go again. I know I was, I was kind of getting to a practical application. And then I went on again into some abstract idea. But let me not uh, be tempted to wrap everything up nicely in a bowl for you. Let me just leave it at that and allow you to come closer to the truth for yourself.